Hello fellow customizers. Today I'm customizing a pair of Air Jordan featuring the artwork from the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This was, or should I say, still is a very difficult and long customization project. This video is part one of two. Part two should be released early next week. These are the Air Jordans straight from the box. They are a men's size 13. I had to special order this size because size 13 is impossible to find here in Japan. Aside from removing the laces, I am also removing the insoles from inside each shoe because I am painting the sock liner. I do not want any of my paint to drip down and stain the insoles. Anytime you work with leather, you must remove the factory finish. And today I'm using the Leather Prepare and the Glazer from Angelus Direct. This is the most important part of customizing leather. Be extra thorough, get in every nook and cranny. When you think you have removed all of the factory finish, set it aside, come back a few hours later and do it again. You must get in every single crease to remove all of that finish that is left on from the stores. I do like to use a light grit sanding block to create a bit of texture. This enables the paint to better adhere to the surface. According to the collector's layout, the sock liner is black. Now I'm going to mix a too soft and flat black mix that goes on the sock liner and any area you want to keep soft when dry. The mix is equal parts too soft and equal parts flat black. Too soft must always be heat set for three to five minutes. And there is an Angelus Direct discount link down below to get this exact same heat gun from AngelusDirect.com. The Raoul Duke character image is printed out and I traced it on the leather using a regular number 2 pencil. And I am filling in the outlined area with a mix of flat white and Georgia peach. This will serve as my base coat. And now with that same printed image glued to a piece of blue Sorrel transfer paper, I have all of my line work ready to follow. 
And there is an Amazon affiliate link for this same blue straw transfer paper down below so you can give it a try. As you can see, my colors are building up beautifully. I'm using very thin layers to produce these bright, vivid colors. Because my toe box is green in the layout, I'm going to first dye it using a green leather dye. This will take multiple layers and there will be a drying time in between each layer. Using the same techniques with Dr. Gonzo as I did with Raul, I am using Buttercup and Flat White as my base coats. While I wait for this base coat to dry, I am doing another layer of the green leather dye. I'm a little bit nervous about one of the eyes being painted in a difficult location. However, I had a similar situation on the other shoe. I just need to hope for the best. palette is relatively simple however I do have a small cap of the too thin just to make sure none of my paint comes out too chunky The small leather area surrounding the toe box will also be black. I'm going to pre-dye it with a black leather dye. After about 
four layers of the black leather dye has dried completely, it is time for some flat black from Angelus Direct. And this is the end of the Air Jordan Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas Customs Part 1. I will release Part 2 hopefully next week. If you have any questions, reach out to me through my Instagram or my website. Both links are down below, as are links to all the products I used in this video. Big thanks to Angela Strike for the paints, and thanks guys for watching.